Hello everyone, this is Mike Gosson with Vectology. I'm here on behalf of Vector Toots Plus, and today we're going to learn how to make a D-pad, also known as a directional pad, in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Although this tutorial will be done in CS6, we will be able to transfer these skills onto other versions of Illustrator. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do here is make the actual circle for the D-pad. I'm going to grab my ellipse tool, that's L, right here. I'm going to make a circle about this size. It's a pretty good size there. You're not too worried about resolution as of right now, so we're going to go ahead and move on from there. I'm going to make a gradient with this. I'm going to take this white here. I'm going to set it to RGB. I'll give it like a medium blue, like so. I'm going to change this right here to RGB as well. I'm going to go ahead and make that a, like a darker, maybe navy blue in there. This is going to be the vector tits color, so I'm going to go ahead and make that. I'm going to bring this down about this right there. It's pretty good. Okay, next we're going to do is cut up this circle here to make the actual shapes we need. First thing I'm going to do here, make a copy of this. Control Alt, drag out. I'm going to make another copy, bring this up about a couple of maybe a little over half the size of that. I'm going to select the two by Pathfinder. I'm going to use the minus front. I'm going to take this shape, place it back over this shape right here. Set that to multiply. It's very nice. Now what we're going to do is get rid of these strokes. Like so. And there we go. Now we're going to actually go ahead and make the actual directional you know pad itself the actual buttons you would press select this like so make these a little bit smaller these need to fit inside the shape so let's go ahead and fit that as of right now and there we go looks pretty good make one this way as well for now we're gonna go ahead straighten these up I'm gonna grab the horizontal line center here like so and this one's going to be vertical aligned like so so we got to make sure those are all aligned correctly I'm gonna go ahead and um, unite these okay and now we're gonna do we can change these to more of a white color okay so let's go ahead and back to our gradient that we already there let's switch that let's go to more of a white change that and this is going to be a gray so let's go back to grayscale change that like that very good I'm gonna place this take this little shape here the little the little um, direction pad we made I'm gonna bring this down copy it I'm going to knock that to the back it's gonna be control bracket left bracket now we have shapes sitting on top of each other like so I'm gonna set this shape also to multiply so when we bring it back onto the actual base of the d-pad the shape will be have a shadow to it and there we go first thing I want to do here is make sure this is grouped together and these two the, the actual buttons are grouped together so we can go ahead and bring both of these together so we can actually make sure they're all aligned perfectly this one doesn't need to do the horizontal because it's kind of offset there okay looks pretty good I want to darken this up a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and take this shape here. Now, you can't do this if you're using CS3 or, you know, CS4, but you can darken up any way you, you think you can. So it's a little bit darker. I like that a lot better. Okay, I'm going to select this shape here. I'm going to now bring the D-pad in, in size a little bit. Control C. Control F to bring this the copy in front. Bring this in around like that. I'm gonna stretch this shape out to about um, right there, and this one's gonna go right here as well. Same thing here, and the same thing here. Very nice. I'm going to bring that right there. And I'm just going to add a gradient. Very similar to the one we had earlier. But I'm going to reverse it. 
like so, so we can get more of an indentation there. Very nice. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start softening up these shadows and stuff in here, and we'll be just about done. Okay, we're going to go ahead and change this to about maybe 40%. We're going to control all drag to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, top, bottom, like that. So we should have a nice, soft looking shape in there, not too harsh. Same thing with the shadow. Let's bring the shadow down to probably about 30%. To the right, to the left, to the right, top, bottom. Just like that. Now it should be a little softer in there for you. Same thing here. We're going to go to maybe 50%. Just a little softer, top, bottom, like so. A little more natural look there. Let me erase that really quick. Okay. Go ahead and add the actual highlight to the top of this area right there. I'm going to grab this shape out here, copy it, bring it down, select both, select both of those. I'm going to group that really quick so we don't have such a hard time. I'm going to go ahead and knock that shape out of there. I'm going to take the shape again. I'm going to copy this shape like so, knock that one out. Got a little bit of a scraggler here. I'm going to get rid of that really quick. I'm going to bring this shape right on the edge, like so. Make that white. I'm going to go ahead and change that to screen. I'm going to bring the opacity down to maybe 40%, like so. Now we have a nice little highlight there that you can see. Okay, now we need one more highlight to fit on the bottom of this, and we'll be just done with that. Selected that highlight again, copied it, dragged the copy of out, bring this to the front, like so. Have a nice little shape there. Now it's pretty much set, the highlights are set in there. Okay. Okay, guys. That concludes our D-pad tutorial. Hope this was helpful to you guys. As I said, I'm Mike Gossam with Vectology here on behalf of Vector Tits Plus, and thank you very much for watching.